good afternoon good morning good evening my fellow creative designers and content creators welcome once again to another exciting episode on this channel and guys welcome this is Aki graphics and if this is your first time coming across this channel then please stick around and let's walk through an exciting tutorials this is our channel and guys if you have not gone through our channel for for at least at this time then i'll take this opportunity to introduce to you all the designs and i think we have about 314 videos on this channel with the current subscribers of 1.39 almost 1.4 key subscribers and guys we are doing great all of this is as a result of the good work the good effort or the good content we are providing for you that is why you keep supporting this channel and guys today's episode we are going to learn how to design this beautiful church flyer yes then the the then key of the kingdom the then key of the kingdom this is the tutorial we are going to work on it today and then basically we are going to do this mock-up and trust me i'm going to share this mock-up with you it's a free it's a premium those of you who know when you say premium you know what it means they are paid mock-up unless you pay money before they'll be able to buy or get access to this but trust me i'm going to share it with you for free so please watch out as we are going to dive into the tutorials step by step so without wasting my time control n to open a new document all right so the control n is ready you are going to set a square size if you want you can go to um, um, um mobiles all right so you go to um add an illustration then pick either 10 by 100 by 100 or sorry thousand by thousand or two thousand by two thousand they are all the same because we want it to be a square then you just type the name um church flyer flyer and then as i said the height is two thousand width is two thousand resolution three hundred everything is okay so click on create it's a social media handle so maintain here rgb yes just rgb and then white background everything is okay so click on create nicely like this so you have this nice background with me then i'm going to pick a gradient overlay yes i'm going to pick a gradient overlay so i'll go to this size session and then go to my pink i've set it already to go here you realize it has a pink side so i'll click on ok here and then i'll double click again and then change the style to radar and then move it to sorry and then let me change here to something like 170 so 170 percent is okay so i'll click on enter and everything is okay like this then i'm going to work more on the background so i have this i'm um, sorry 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 yes yeah, so we have these resources here i'll drag this and then i'll drag it and then just drop it in photoshop and release it nicely like this now it set hold alt and scale it up to cover the entire screen press enter and then set the blending option to something like this is awesome something like this is awesome and then go again go to the resources file and then i have this drag it in photoshop and release it nicely and then wait for it to load guys always wait for it to load so please subscribe to this channel like share comment and let me know how this channel is helping you in any other ways so now it also says click on ok here and then hold alt to scale it up to cover the entire screen leave it press enter and then go to the blending option and leave it at this highlight i think this is awesome then go again and then go and pick this drag it and then release it in photoshop and then always wait for it to load loading depend on the fastness of your machine or fastness of your system so if your system is very very fast or your system is robust it will be it's going to load quickly so click ok and then again alt and scale it up nicely like this press enter and then again blending option and then leave it as let's see let's see let's start from beneath and we have something nice like this or we have something nice like this so i think this is awesome so we leave it at this side yes we leave it at this side and press enter 
and then all this one puts them in a group control gene and then call it background so b a c k g r o u n d so background is set our background everything is set now we are going to drag the church logo so in case you have your church logo then you drag it over there nicely like this and then push it up nicely con press enter press enter then control a to select it center it at this side control d to deselect this side now who go to this rectangular marking to right click and pick the rectangular marking to and cut only the text Control J to duplicate only the text. Double click at the edge here and then go to color overlay and set it to color white. Just yeah. set here to color white. Press enter. Okay. And this and this control J and then call it logo. Thank you. So if your logo is quite different, you can also import your logo. Yes, that is it. Then let me bring my guide. I'll go to view, go to guide and new guide layout. And then just we make sure that everything is center aligned. Everything is center aligned. Now this is done. We are going to hit T on the keyboard to activate the test tool, and then we are going to type the test the then key to the press enter control T and then push it at the middle like this. And I think it's okay. We are using a font called Montserrat. And I think here is 30 and then this is let's pick bold nice that is awesome control a and then we center it this way control D to deselect it now hold alt and then drag this down and then type the kingdom press enter control T and then scale it up nicely like this and we are going to use a font called anti less font go here and go and change the font to anti less font yes we are going to change the font to anti less font and then we just open up here to something like this control t again and then scale it up like this and i think we still need to close the lighting yes we still need to close this side a bit to something like i think this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome and then we position it at this side awesome all right so as i said the font is anti less and then you just center it this way and i think this and this control g to put it in a group and then call it team yes control t again and see um i think it's at the center so that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome and then we are just going to bring the images yeah so we are going to bring the images and i have the images here so this and this i'll just drag them and release it nicely in photoshop like this and then all right so this i'll click ok and then check it press enter and then the second image is also loading all right so the second image is also set i'll click ok and then that's also ready so this the two images control t and then i'll scale it up nicely like this and then drop it down and i think this is okay we are going to remove the background so first of all right click the first one rasterize type then go to this hit w on the keypad with the caps lock off and then now it selects this two which is magic one two and then come and pick select subject so photoshop will select only the image and leave the background alone for you that is the power of the current versions of photoshop we are using so please if you have not gotten the current version of photoshop then i would advise you get it because it's very very awesome there are new trends in which uh, it makes graphic design and then the photoshop using very very friendly and quickly so ctrl c to select the image ctrl v to paste it again and then i'll select the one beneath and then delete it direct then this one to our right click it and then rasterize type and then select subject nicely by that all right so that one is also done ctrl c to copy it ctrl v to paste it and delete the one beneath all right so quickly within less than 30 seconds or less than 15 seconds i've been able to remove all the background of the image 
without using going through the old procedure using the pen to selecting them one after the other and then just before you come in no 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 quickly we have done it within a blink of an eye and then now this is the image so we are going to arrange the image nicely like this and we position this here and we make sure are they in line so we select the two or we can just control h control h control r to bring our this rulers here and then drag one to make sure that the image is not so this one is not in line so i'll just drag it down and then this and this selected the two images selected i'll just push it down like this and make sure that the four below something like this so this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome so these two images together i'll match them together to convert them to smart objects and with this one i'm going to use camera raw filter yes so just go here go to filter and then go to camera raw filter and let's use a camera raw filter to work on the images all right so camera raw filter is ready let me boost here to this and i think this is awesome i'll go here rather so plus 24 tint let's see the tint and the tint is i think this is okay so let's see exposure and exposure to let me just leave it at one let's see contrast so contrast let me just all uh, boost it to the side and then let me see highlight and highlight and i think highlights should remain something like this and then let me see black i think black this will be perfect let me go here and see no i just want the black should be there i want the black should be there and then let me go to the texture and i'll push the texture to something like this yes i want the texture i'm seeing so clarity and let's see and i think clarity plus 10 is okay let's see the haze let's see the haze guys experiment with this and if you get what you want then you are good to go let me go to the vibrance let me push vibrance to this side as you know i want vibrance to be like this and then let me see saturation and saturation this is awesome for me so after that i'll go to before and after and then you see that this is the before and after so the after look great it has changed the entire image yes it has changed the entire image and guys if you are not still satisfied you can still make, do your adjustment and other things over here you can still do them just to get the perfect image you want or however you want it to be so if you are okay click on okay and then the whole camera of photo will be applied to the design so this is it nicely and then we are just going to type the names yes that is it and for the purpose of the tutorial not to be too long just let me go and copy the names from this side and we just pick the names from here we just pick the names from here and i'll just select it like this and then merge it this way and push it up like this push it up like this and then release it nicely like that so i'll just leave it here and then that is it that is it that is it that is it so i'll just unchain this and then uh let's see let's see this and the first width i'll just position them at this side yes i'll position it at this side and then the second name yes the second name i'll just position it also well like this yes awesome 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 and that one's with the weight let me just zoom it properly for you to see the width i use a font called taking by watches yes taking by watches font and then the name for asamoah Boating, yes, it's also I use an anti less expanded, anti less expanded, and the same thing over here. So just check it out if you don't have that one in your system, kindly check it out. So with this and this control J, and then call it what name and image, names and uh, images. Good, so everything is set nicely, and then you left it the time and date. So I'll just quickly go there and i'll just bring it this way sorry sorry this is the theme so i'll just go there select all of them yes select all of them and then push it up this way and drop it here boom so i'll just select the two 
and then position them here and that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome so control j then call it what this and uh, time yes that is it so guys if in case you have other informations that you want to add you want to add feel free add them and then just make the design creative some information is like the venue plus maybe uh, for more information contact details and other like a theme and other information that you want to add just add them so for the purpose of the tutorial this is how we were able to design everything like this and guys we are not we are done but we are not done we are done but we are not done after that you drop this drag this and then release it in photoshop and then just place it on it and let's see a few camera or oh, sorry we drag it to so check it like this way scale it up and then enter and let's see some blending option and see which one will be perfect for the design so i think this is okay click enter and then add layer marks and click inside the layer mask press b on the keyboard to activate the brush tool now i'm using a different brush so go to this side go to this side and then go to general yes go to this general and select soft round brush and then pick this side and hit here or you can reduce the brush size and hit here this side change the foreground color to color black change the foreground color to color black and then hit here to clear the images or to clear the face or the lines showing blame on the image and click here and then control alt shift and e to merge everything together in one layer uh, convert to smart objects go to filter camera raw filter again and let's boost the whole design up let's boost the whole design up let's boost the whole design up and then i'll just be pushing here something like this and i think i'm beginning to like what i'm seeing so i just don't want a lot i just don't want a lot so this is okay for me and let me see clarity yeah let me just feel a few of it will be okay for me and then if it's okay for me i'll just click on okay and then it will be applied on the image so guys that is it that is it and with this mock-up i'm going to share it for you or i'm going to share it with you for free now if you get it either here is close like this just open here this is what is said. place your design here open it this way and then come here hit double click at this side and then go and drag the image or the design and place it here after placing it here you close it this way and then the design will be applied inside the mock-up that is how to place a design inside a mockup and don't forget this is the raw design and this is the free mockup i'm giving out and i'm going to share a link for you to download the resources and then the free psd file as well please subscribe to this channel like share comment and let me know how this channel is helping you in any other way until then i'll see you in the next tutorials bye for now